Hey everybody, I wanted to report on two complete weeks of cold water immersion as a part of my morning routine. So uh, 15 days ago I started doing a cold water immersion in the morning as part of a morning routine and I thought I would do a video on some of the benefits of that so far, some of the modifications I've made, some of the challenges I've run into. Uh, so as part of a new morning routine for spring 2024, uh, I do, um, first thing in the morning is I hydrate with typically a Gatorade or a Powerade Zero with zero sugar, uh, zero calories, but something to get myself hydrated. And that's very different than what I've done previously, which is just at first thing in the morning. I would typically, over the past few years or even a couple of like decades, I would do coffee first thing in the morning. Uh, so now what I'm doing and have done for the past 15 days is the first thing I do is I hydrate with uh, electrolytes, uh, Gatorade or Powerade or something like that, while getting sun exposure. Uh, so that's the second part of the routine is immediately uh, get outside within the first, you know, five to ten minutes of waking up, going to the bathroom, of course, you know, getting some... Gatorade and then going and sitting out in the sunshine and absorbing some sunlight, even if it's cloudy. Uh, I typically do that for about five to ten minutes. And then uh, the next step is the cold water immersion. Uh, and so for the cold water immersion, it's January of 2024 as I'm doing this. Uh, I've just simply been using a pool, a small swimming pool that I have in my backyard. Uh, and the water temperature has ranged anywhere from about 50 degrees up to about 60 or 61 degrees. Uh, so not like ice cold, freezing cold, but, but cold enough to induce a, a kind of mild shock response, uh, a, sh a shiver response if I stay in the water for 10 minutes or so. So uh, that has been the third step in the new morning routine. And like I said a moment ago, what I typically do with the cold water immersion is submerge myself up to my neck. Uh, and then more recently, I've gotten into actually putting my head under the water and swimming underwater. Uh, once I get somewhat acclimated to, to the cold water. Um, and some of the, uh, I typically do that for about 10 minutes. Some of the benefits that I've started to notice uh, part of it is is rooted I think primarily in mindset and so while there are certainly physiological responses that are going on there's a quickness of breath and likely an increase in metabolism it feels uh, you know psychologically it feels uh, like there's some sort of uh, release of, of neurochemicals that make things a lot uh, happier and sharper it sort of is a mood lifter for sure um, how much of that is an actual you know a chemical change I don't know I'm not doing that kind of test all I'm doing with this reflection after two weeks is is looking at some of the benefits of it and, and the benefits have been an increase in productivity uh, an increase in focus uh, and yeah I think part of it may just simply be it's a it's a kind of mindset uh, where I'm thinking about these different steps as barriers that I need to overcome. So, you know, five minutes before getting into the, into the cold pool, uh, there's a mental block that arises. And, you know, I think, well, I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to get in the pool. Uh, I don't really want to, you know, start shivering and, and get really, really cold. Uh, and so part of the benefit that I see in it is simply putting that kind of challenge in front of myself and then engaging in it. And there's an immediate uh, fight or flight tendency once you get in the water, okay? So the body kind of goes into a little bit of shock. It's like, whoa, this is really, really cold. Um, and what I do is I, is I calm myself. I breathe. I recognize, you know, this is a stress, but it's it's not a, you know, it's not a, it's, this is not going to kill me kind of stress. 
Uh, and in that, and then engaging in it and staying in the water for a good f- five to ten minutes, uh, sometimes even a little bit more, uh, I think what it does is it builds a sort of psychological reservoir of resiliency uh, where I can handle just about any kind of stress that'll, that'll, that'll come at me. Uh, and there have been quite a few really kind of extraordinary uh, stresses in the past couple of weeks that under sort of normal circumstances might have really derailed me quite a bit. Uh, I had a, a random hit, uh, a, a driver who was drunk, and, who was drunk uh, hit my truck and, and really fucked up the front end of my truck. Uh, he got, uh, I was not in the truck, it was just parked out in front of my house. Um, uh, it was just a long ordeal, and it still hasn't resolved yet entirely. We're trying to get the truck fixed a week later, things like that. Uh, so we've moved down to a one-vehicle household with two kids that are, you know, in high school and middle school, with all the things they've got going on, and my wife, you know, doing all the things she's got to do. So those kind of typical, or those kinds of things, would be extraordinary, uh, you know, stressors as I have a full-time job as well. Um, but I've just, you know, sort of bounced back through it. I've managed to continue working out. I find myself uh, a little bit more focused and invigorated in the afternoon. Uh, and the big shift is my sleep. The sun exposure and the cold water immersion first thing in the morning and then all the productivity that seems to follow it throughout the day seems to be contributing to me getting tired uh, and sleepy tired uh, earlier in the evening. So once night sets in around 8 p.m., 9 p.m., I start getting tired, whereas usually prior to this, I used to be quite a night owl and would stay up until midnight or even after midnight reading sometimes, uh, working on language acquisition using Duolingo or something like that. Uh, but I found myself getting sleepy at like 9, 10 p.m. Uh, and had just gotten into a, a bet, much better sleep routine. Um, yeah, and this is coming from somebody who for, for many years struggled with, I think, uh, insomnia and stress-related uh, uh, sleep. The inability to really manage psychological stress uh, really plagued me for, for a number of years, four, or five, six years so those are some of the benefits I see after 15 days. Uh, increased productivity, uh, improved sleep, uh, improved resiliency in managing stress. Uh, so yeah, my goal is to make it to 30 days total, uh, and I'll probably report back at that point to see if there's any changes. Uh, the one modification that I've made as part of the routine, the first week or so after the cold water immersion, uh, I immediately went for a walk like I would come in, dry off a little bit, put on some dry clothes, and then go for about a two-mile walk, and and then have breakfast after that. So I didn't have anything to eat until after that walk, and, and that I've shifted here in the past week, um, where after the cold water immersion, the next thing that I do is I then make a cup of coffee, which is what I'm doing right now. I've got a cup of coffee over here, and... Uh, I find that really, really enjoyable. I <laughs> enjoy the coffee uh, a lot more after the cold water immersion. Uh, and, and then I try to do some work on a computer, like I'm you know, just sort of playing around right now, doing some reflection work. But typically, well, I have in the background, I was doing some work on a class that I'm teaching. Um, so I'll, I'll do that work and then try to get some exercise after I've got about an hour of productivity in uh, so that's the one modification. The first week I was immediately going and doing exercise, some light exercise right after the cold water immersion for about an hour. Uh, and so in the second week of this so far, I've kind of shifted to having coffee and some sort of light breakfast uh, right after doing the cold water immersion and then jumping right into doing some work uh, when my brain seems really uh, focused and, and at peak. Uh, so. That's me after two weeks of cold water immersion therapy.